morning on Saturday. I thought I would film a day in the life today because I'm a bit light on content this week or be last week by the time you see it. Um, yeah, so it's Saturday. Ashley's going to work. William's going down to Cornwall with Charlotte to um, have a look at the Penryn campus of Exeter University because she's been offered a place there and is considering it. They've got an open day today down there. So they're doing that. So I am going to be home alone. Um, let me just get into the car and then, oh, it's not a very nice morning. Um, let's just put the key into the ignition. There we are. Um, yeah, so I'm home alone and it's Saturday and that's a bit boring. So I'm going to pop into town. I'm going to have a look around Asda at the clothes. And I was thinking I might go over to Torquay because Sainsbury's have got 25% off all their clothing at the moment. And they had some really nice jeans on the website, embroidered ones, and quite fancy a pair of those. So I might do that as well. I'm going to pop into town here first. Um, I need to go to Superdrug to pick up a couple of things. And um, yeah, I'm just going out for the sake of going out, really. Nothing absolutely major. Um... But yeah, I just felt the need to get out of the house. So yeah, I'm doing that. Nothing else planned for the rest of the day. Rest of the day, probably. Bit of work, bit of tidying. All the usual stuff, really. Just remember that I've got some stuff out to put into the washing machine before I came out and completely forgot to do that. So I must do that when I get back. Although it's not going to be a good drying day. It's going to have to go in the tumble dryer. So, God, it's all, it's all the fun on my daily vlogs, isn't it? All the fun discussing the laundry. Right, I'm going to put the camera down and drive to town. Well, I'm back from the shops. It's about half past ten. Just opening the door, despite the fact it's actually brightening up a bit I was gonna say despite the fact it's very dull it's um quite warm and sticky got a bit of an autumnal outfit on today I'll tell you what I need to go and change my top because I'm too hot so I will take you up to the bedroom just show you what I'm wearing so forgive the top draped over the top of the mirror oh that reminds me I need to take the laundry down I've got this new top on from Dorothy Perkins it's got a bit of a what's that called fluffle thing at the end of the sleeve lost the ability to speak and asymmetric hem and i really really like it um i like the autumnal colors but it's too hot i need to put something cooler on but more interestingly these jeans they've got they're from sainsbury's and they've got this sort of diamondy pattern on them which i really like i bought these just before i went on holiday sorry i'm out of breath from running up the stairs to come into the house <sighs> yes and i haven't made my bed don't judge. <laughs> yeah, these jeans, I bought them before I went on holiday from Sainsbury's and they didn't fit. I couldn't get them on. I could get them on, but I couldn't get them done up. But they do up. They're not the loosest in the world. They are quite tight. So that really made me feel good this morning, the fact I could get them on and do them up and they weren't the most uncomfortable jeans in the world. Um, so obviously I am doing something right with my slimming world. I've been feeling a bit in there about it the last two days. But um, yeah, that sort of spurred me on a bit, so that's good. Right, I'm going to find something cooler to put on and um, make a cup of coffee and crack on with some realists, I think. Also, I managed to go into both Boots and Superdrug and buy nothing that wasn't on my list. All I bought was the three things on my list. So yay for me, well done. It's about half past 12 now and um, Ashley rang a little while ago to say that he was picking up steaks for dinner. So that's good. Um, I've just been doing a few eBay drafts for some bits that I had hanging around and I've just discovered that this very on trend mustard coloured blouse has got stains on it so I'm going to pop that into soak. I still haven't made my bed, look. Have done a load of washing, just put that out to dry some of it, some's gone in the tumble dryer. And I've done a massive list of relists, massive list of relists, bunch of relists that I desperately needed to do, that have been hanging over me for days. I've been doing 10 at a time here and 10 at a time there because I like to go through them and adjust prices where necessary and switch up some keywords and stuff if things are hanging around. Um, so I've been doing that and they're all done now till the next lot finish. So that was quite a nice feeling. And... Um, 
I suppose it's time to think about having some lunch. I'm quite hungry because I only had pineapple and yogurt for breakfast. So I ought to go and find something to eat, something quite light, I think, if we're having steak for dinner. Just while I think about it, so many people asked me for the link to my new top. This one and the mustardy coloured one that I got from eBay. And I did put a link into the comments in the last video, but I will put a link in the description box below. Um, the original listing I bought from was sold out, but I've just found another listing for the exact same thing. Slightly cheaper, £7 I think, and they've got them in different colours. This design, but in like a coffee colour, a purpley colour and a blue colour. So I've just ordered blue as well. Um, just a little bit annoyed with myself, only mildly. I bought this Lizelle bag at the car boot sale a couple of weeks ago. I only paid 50p for it, but it had a couple of little marks on it. So I thought oh, I'll just bung it in the washing machine. But look, it's taken off the design. I didn't think it would actually. It was only a 40 degree wash and it's only like... Um, the stuff they put on t-shirts you know that sort of slightly rubberized stuff so that was a bit poor really but um it was only 50p so it's not the end of the world but it's just mildly annoying this was one of the things i bought today vintage flower power polyester that's the label brettles size 18 feels absolutely horrible but somebody will love that i'm sure very Oh, it looks as though the hems come down. Need to do a bit of sewing there. Um, but yeah, very 1970s, 1960s, not sure. Lunch time, it's about half past one. And this may look like a strange combination. I've got two crustless pieces of bread, which is, or toast even, which is my healthy extra. Um, B for the day. I've got half a can of corned beef, reduced fat corned beef, which is one and a half sins. And then two poached eggs on the top of that and some fried mushrooms and peppers for speed food and I can't wait to eat it. Good morning on Sunday. It's 6.33. Oh, there's the car boot sale. Oh my God, it was such a struggle to get myself to get out of bed. I really have lost the will for weekend getting up early. I I mean, I was in bed at 10 o'clock last night. It's not that I haven't had enough sleep, but I just do not. I have no enthusiasm for the car boot sale. I had to, I literally lay in bed for about 20 minutes bargaining with myself as to whether I was going to go or not. Honestly, awful. I'm so unenthused. I managed to eventually get myself to go by going, you can just go and look around for half an hour. Just see half an hour and then you can come back and go back to bed. And I'm sure I'll be all right once I get there, but oh god, I'm so unenthusiastic. That was a good start to the day, wasn't it? Anyway, this video was supposed to be a day in the life, and quite clearly, it's not a day in the life because I didn't film anything after lunch yesterday. So I ended up going down to the cinema room and watching a film. I watched um, I Tonya about Tonya Harding, the ice skater, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well made and um, sort of quite darkly comic in a way. Um, yeah, that was good. And then I posted about, did a little bit more work, um, and we had a lazy evening. Actually watched the telly, cooked steak for dinner, which was really nice, and I read my book. I have just filmed a whole I filmed, this is the third time I filmed this. I started um, on the way to the parcel shop. I filmed the whole segment and I just felt like it was all very waffly and disjointed. So I thought, sorry, I just got a sale notification from eBay. Um, so I thought, oh, I'm going to refilm it on the way back from the parcel shop. So I just refilmed it all the way back from the parcel shop, pulled it up the drive, gone to turn it off and I haven't even turned it on. That's that Monday morning feeling, isn't it? So let's do a quick summary of what I've just spent four minutes waffling about. It's Monday. It's a new week. Plan for this week is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday work. Thursday, Friday, I'm away overnight in Cardiff with my best friend. It's a trip. Well, not. 
we, we do a trip every year for our birthdays. Both our birthdays fall in August and um, instead of buying each other a present, we go away somewhere together. Um, we've been to all sorts of places, Bath, Cheltenham, Bristol last year. This year we're going to Cardiff, really looking forward to it. Um, we don't get to spend a lot of time together, just the two of us. We spend time together as couples with um, our husbands. Um, but just the two of us, she works full time, I work full time. So it's really nice to get a whole couple of days with an overnight stay to spend some time together. We only do it once a year and we really, really enjoy it, both of us. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else did I say? So pleased William's got his place at Bath University all sorted out. Um, his girlfriend still isn't sure what she's doing. She's got a couple of different options. I suspect she's going to end up having a gap year and going abroad. Um, not sure how William's feeling about that. Pretty resigned, I think, to it. But um, whole new life experiences for them. So mind you, he won't find out about his accommodation at Bath until... Um, uh, the latest would be the 10th of September, they've said. Um, he's obviously applied for campus, univer um, not campus, um, halls of residence or um, university accommodation of some description. They had to give eight different choices of all the different accommodation they've got. Um, so we're waiting to hear about that and then I will know what I need to buy him to or what he'll need to take with him so we can start getting that together. Um, we're going away the 3rd of September for 10 days and then the day we come back, William goes away with his girlfriend for five days. They're going on a um, sort of bit of an interrailing trip to Europe. Um, so by the time he comes back from that, there'll only be three days before he goes to uni. So we've got a lot of organisation stuff to be doing. Um, Good morning on Tuesday. So much for finishing this vlog yesterday. Didn't quite get round to that. But we're on the home stretch. I'm going to finish it now. Now. But I just wanted to show you a couple of things. Oh, dearie me. Let me just close this blind a little bit because I'm not sure that level of light is what we're looking for. Again unmade bed i'm about to make it it is my next job not going to tell you what time it is it's about 12 o'clock um i'm gonna, just going to show you i had a little makeup declutter i went through my blushes do you remember i said um that i was going to get rid of some blushes because i wanted to move on to cream blushes only um for those who may not have watched my last beauty chat video i think it was god it's hot in here Press that window open a bit more. Found a window cleaner as well. Did I mention that yesterday? So many have let me down. Really ought to have found somewhere to perch this before I started this. Um, segwaying off into all sorts, aren't I? Right, as you can see, this month's goal to keep my sofa empty of clothing isn't going that well. Anyway, I had a makeup declutter. In my recent beauty chat video, I tried a new blush, a cream blush, which was this Revlon um, cream blush. Um, and I decided that I like myself so much better in cream blushes. I've got another one as well, a corally coloured one, that I was going to get rid of a whole load of blusher. And I decided I would do that. And I got rid of another couple of things as well. So I'm just going to show you what I'm getting rid of. Um, this Body Shop Honey Lip Balm is, it was nice, but I'm trying to get rid of all lip balms that you have to dip your finger into. I prefer things that, that you don't have to dip your finger into because they're just not that hygienic, are they? This Essence Mascara, massive disappointment. This was all eyes on me. I bought this to go on holiday because I wanted a waterproof mascara to use during the day so I could go swimming and wouldn't end up with panda eyes. And let's just pop you down there and I'll open it. It was a very nice one. I quite liked it. It was a free gift. I didn't actually order it. It was a um, free gift when I bought some makeup. And um, But it's just a powder one and I've had it for ages and I don't need it anymore. Um, this was another one that I didn't order. Massive packaging for small amount of blush and it is a cream blush but it's the most awful bugger to blend and it's almost the same size of uh, shade sorry as the new revlon one i've got which i prefer massively so that's going um this is a single eye shadow that's white and um it didn't do what i wanted it to do i wanted it as a brow highlight and it was too sparkly and the color payoff was a bit rubbish and it was generally just not very good so that's going 
Um, this is a from the B range in Superdrug and it's a little um, gel eyeshadow and it was quite nice. It was sort of a rose goldy colour. I know the light's terrible, sorry I don't. This is not good light to be doing makeup stuff in, is it? Um, but it's dried up and it's a bit rubbish so that is going as well. This is Maybelline Baby Lips. It's like a blush stick. Let me let me pop that up there and you there for a minute and I can show you. Oh, should we switch you that way because the light might be better. God, this is right mess, isn't it, this video? Um, it's one of those that comes up like that. It's meant to be a, is it a lip and cheek stain or something? But it was pretty rubbish and a bit gimmicky and nah, not very good. So we didn't like that. Then this is one of the Maybelline Colour Tattoo um, Gel Eyeshadow. What was I thinking? I mean, it's a beautiful colour. It's like a peacocky blue colour. I can't see if you're focused or not. I mean, it's absolutely lovely. And once you get it on, it doesn't come off for ages. I don't know if you can see the iridescence of that. It's really lovely and peacocky. But I'm bloody 50 nearly, for God's sake. What am I doing with a bright blue eyeshadow? It's just, it, it, I've never been able to do anything with it. It just, it doesn't work for me at all. Um, this Physician's Formula um, Powder Blush is lovely. Look at the little heart design on it. It's so pretty. Um, but again, I'm moving over to non-powder blush and this max factor um creme puff blush in the shade alluring rose which was actually lovely it's one of those marbled sort of baked ones um the color didn't do anything for me those were when i first started watching youtube um four years ago five years ago something like that five years ago probably uh, those creme puff blushes were everywhere everybody was using them and talk about youtube made me buy it and finally i am getting rid of this rimmel royal blush which is a cream blush but and is a lovely color but oh god i've just stuck my finger right into it um and i've broken the lid off as well fantastic um it's got great big lumps of silver glitter in it um so that's just not me at all so that's going and finally, finally, I think I've said finally three times now, this Makeup Revolution Blush and Bronze Palette, which I really liked, but it's all a bit sparkly for me in, in reality. So that's going as well. And I've now banged on at you for six whole minutes about makeup that I'm getting rid of. So I am going to stop. I'm going to finish off this vlog coming up in the next couple of days there will be a favorites video you may have seen that already because i'm about to film that in a minute so that might have gone up before this in which case you'll know that and then a slimming world update later in the week with a what i ate in the day as well that's the plan for this week um i better go and make my bed i'll speak to you soon thanks for watching guys bye